Welcome back to Motoculture TV guys. Today we're showing you around our two Butterfly Tub Hiluxes. Now before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment on what you want to see next, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this is the red one. Now this one was the first ever Butterfly Tub design in Australia. Now this sits on a total of a six inch lift, which consists of a two inch suspension lift, two inch on the tires, and a two inch body lift as well. So as you take a look around the car, you'll notice straight away that we've got the wide fenders, you've also got the roof rack, everything you need to go off-road. This thing's an absolute machine. Now, if we come around to the side, we'll show you a bit of a closer look at some of these details. So you all know how this works, what the tub looks like, but you may not know exactly how it works in terms of releasing the latch. So if you take a look underneath here, you'll see this little silver button. Now, what you do, you hear that, it unlatches everything, and then the tub slides up and open and it looks absolutely insane and of course then you've got all of your storage room here so you've got plenty of room you'll notice when we talk about the black one we've done some things with the inside here to actually set it up for specific things that we wanted to add and then of course you've got another little bit of space here i'm not quite sure what you'll fit in there maybe a little water compressor a little espresso machine whatever you want so for you 4x4 fanatics, you may know or recognize these wheels. These are the Method Concave 6 wheels. They don't make them anymore. They're super highly desirable and they're sitting on this truck. Perfect fit because this is a one-of-a-kind truck on some one-of-a-kind wheels. It doesn't get much better than that. So the best part about having a tub like this is if you ever get a flat battery in your Hilux, you can lift it up so that you can pull on the tread of the car. You can pull on the tread and it's a lot easier to move than actually pushing it. <laughs> that was a bad example, but you get my point. So after two years in the limelight, we thought it was only right to bring in a second version of the Butterfly Tub Hilux. So what we did is we went and bought a brand new 2021 Hilux. This has less than 50 kilometers on it. It is a brand spanker. And we basically did the same thing, but we went with a more classy and subtle approach. So you'll notice that this is cleaner. It looks better. We've gone black. Everything's been blacked out, full chrome delete, and it's a really nice design. So jump around to the side and have a closer look. So again, it wouldn't be a complete 4x4 if we didn't actually make the car functional. So first things first, rock sliders. And then you've also got the Vogue Custom Snorkel, the Rhino Roof Rack. You've got lighting absolutely everywhere. And again, it's been integrated very subtly. So these little lights up here, they look like they're meant to be there, which is great because sometimes you'll see on 4x4s, lights are just in random places and it doesn't look great. But the front bar on this ute is, is something that had to be custom made because some of you guys will know the 2021 Hiluxes, there's no bars on shelf yet. They haven't been made, they're not producing them, no one's doing it, so it had to be custom built. Absolutely everything on this car had to be custom built to fit. So again, everything here has been blacked out. All this was chrome, but I much, much prefer the black look. It looks so much more stealthy. So the only thing I don't like about this car is the headlight design. This, these just look a bit more babyish compared to the red one, which is the older design, and I actually prefer the ones on that. Toyota didn't need to change anything about the Hilux, but I guess they just said it and changed everything. So here we are with the new Hilux. So straight away you'll notice we've got the black mirrors, the black badges, everything is very stealthy, and of course we've still got wide fenders, but the difference, the biggest difference about this car is the refined tub. So everything here works better, works smoother, and just looks like it's been done more professionally as well. So the seals are cleaner. Everything's just got a much better finishing touch. But again, same concept. We'll jump around to the other side to show you some of the specific things we did to the uh, storage space there. But this tub works slightly different in terms of how you actually pop it up. So I'll put it down for you so I can show you. But this one has a little rocker switch in here. So if you get a shot of that, you'll see that switch just there. Same concept, opens it up. And this one's much lighter. So we have so many cars, I actually forget what we've done, but there's nothing different about the structure of the inside here, but we have gone and got a little coffee machine, espresso machine, as well as a uh, lithium battery. There you go, how, do, how about it? So, Another cool thing about this car, if you come around, and before I do, what you'll notice here as well is we've gone with 33 inch tires and a, a bit more of a, I guess, legal build. So, in the rear of this car, you've got this nice industrial, is what I would call it, style design. I think it looks really, really nice. 
and uh, off-road credit has done a fantastic job with this build. So you'd think in a 4x4 you'd get like that cloth interior because you take them to the beach, you take them off-road, there's no point having leather, it's just going to get dirty. But again, Toyota's got a leather option, so that's what we went with. You'll see still have the plastic on the seat because the car's brand new. It literally smells like Toyotas. They, Toyotas have their own smell in their new cars. But, I mean, all in all, it's a nice car, I really like it. My personal preference is this one over the red one. It's just classier, it looks better. Uh, and it's new, it's got literally no kilometres on it, whereas the red one has about 40,000, 50,000 on it. Um, but all in all, you guys asked for a more detailed video of the Black Hilux, so that's what we've given you today. If you want to see a bit more or see it in action even, let us know in the comments and we'll try and make that happen for you. Now before we go, check out the new MCA van. How cool is that? Looks like a panda. You can peep the GDR over in the corner, the orange Lamborghini Hurricane, the white Lambo. Guys, we got some real exciting stuff happening, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.